Hello, my name is Naman, and I'm going to be your instructor for this full course lecture of SketchPy and drawing characters in Python. By the end of this course, you will be able to draw images, sketches, and drawings using simple Python programs. You will be comfortable in visual representation using Python. You will learn how to study and analyze Python module documentation. You will learn how to navigate the Python package index. You will learn how to use the Canvas in Python, and you will be familiar with Python Turtle graphics. If you can learn so many things in this new course, why not watch it till the end? So let's get started. So first of all, just open your terminal or command prompt. Now I'm using Visual Studio Code as my code editor, and it has an integrated command prompt which I have opened. Now here, if you're on a Windows computer, just type in pip install sketchpy. Now sketchpy is the module that we're going to be using to draw these <coughs> sketches. So if you're on Windows, type that, and if you're on Mac or Linux, just type in pip3 install sketchpy. That's enough for now. Now all you want to do is go to Chrome, and let's open this documentation. So pi, pi. This is the Python package index where we can find information about any, uh, any Python module. So I'm going to type in sketchpy right over here, sketchpy, and we're going to find sketchpy 0.1.0. Now, we've already done the installation, which is mentioned over here. Now, here you can get a project description about what the program, <coughs> what the module offers us. So, some basic things that it offers are its own integrated drawings, such as Robert Downey Jr., BTS, and a couple of other characters. So, how do we do that? Pip install Sketchpy. You, can, you don't need to do this. This is just optional. And now, let's just copy this right here. So, the documentation gives you a pretty basic understanding of what the program is about. Now this is just a demo of how the program is going to work. We're using the RDJ one that's already uh, built into SketchPy, but we will be building any character that we want. So this is just a quick demo of how it works. So it opens up a Python Turtle graphics canvas and it draws whatever we want it to draw here. So this is just a Robert Downey Jr. drawing. Um, now instead of Robert Downey Jr., let's say you wanted to draw BTS, right? A character or a member of BTS. So you just it'll draw BTS. Now this takes a little bit more time and when we use external images to draw in Python Turtle graphics it takes even more time so you have to be very patient. Um, I want you guys to pause the video and try doing these on your own experiment with what you can draw already in Sketchify, what's integrated before we start drawing what we want to like external characters. So um, let's just get, let me give you one last demo VJ a random Indian guy so it'll draw that. These are just demos that SketchPy has provided us with. So, right, so it's just drawing the suit and the beard and the hair and now the lips. Right, so that's it for the demo. Now, we can see that we've imported SketchPy and library as lib. This is not necessary, but just make sure to clarify that over here. Now, object.draw. So object is just the variable that we've put in here. Dot draw is what we use in SketchPy. So I'm going to remove this right over here. And now, let's start using images that we uh, are from external sources. So let's look at this image of Andrew Tate, an anime girl, um, code with Harry, IPL players, and Mark Zuckerberg. So you can see I have a lot of different images here that we're going to be experimenting with. So. Um, let's start off with the boilerplate content. So, from SketchPy, the module that we just installed, import canvas. Now, canvas is what we use in Python Turtle graphics. Um, let me just give you guys a more uh, reading of the documentation. Now, there are two files that SketchPy supports, and that is SVG and um, JPEGs. So, I'll just show you guys right over here. So, let's set this as pad is equal to canvas dot sketch uh, sorry canvas was misspelled canvas dot sketch so you can see from image and from SVG so from image is what we will be using unless you have a specific SVG image I would recommend you use sketch from image now over here you just want to put in whatever file we'll be using so for example let us take um, man dot jpeg now, since they're in the same folder, I don't need to specify the location of the file. And now, all you want to do is pen.draw. So like I said a few minutes ago, pen.draw, pen is the variable that we've put in as the canvas, and draw is just the function of sketchpy. So if I run this, it should create 
a picture of a man. Now this man is not integrated into Sketchpy. It is a man. It is an image of a man that I have. Uh, that is my own, right? So that is how this works. Now I'm gonna explain everything. Um, just wait for the image so that it's a man in a suit. Close that. Now, one thing I want to show you guys here is that there is this progress bar right over here, which shows you how long it's going to take for the image to be complete. So it's, you can see it's 80% right now, and it will complete the image as it moves on to 100%. So this is just the basic, right? We just drew an image. Now let's say I go on to the internet, right? Right over here on the internet. Now let's say I want to draw an image of Naruto. Naruto is an anime <coughs> character and I go over to image. So let's pick out a good image. Anyone. Any, absolutely any image can work. I think this looks cool. So what I'm going to do, you know what, I think this looks even better. Uh, let's look for a cool image. You can obviously choose any image that you want. I'm going to choose this one of him as in a pose. Now save image as, and I'm going to be saving it right over here. Let's save it as Naruto. Alright, now it's Naruto.jpg. So JPEG is in the form of an image, so we do not need to convert it. So all I have to do is check that Naruto is over here, and then just type in Naruto.jpg, and you run this, and it should work. So as you can see, it's drawn Naruto. Now there is another function in this uh, canvas called Scale, which you can use to expand or contract images in SketchPy, which we'll be covering later. Now. Um, this is, so you can see it's, it's really easy to do any image. So you can do any image right over here. For example, if I want to do the anime girl, I can do anime underscore girl. Make sure that you type in the file name apps correctly. Now this was an SVG file when I, uh, when I downloaded it, but I converted it into a PNG, which is why it's .svg.png. Now let's say I wanted to use this image individually as an SVG file. All I would do is, instead of sketch from image, we would do sketch from SVG, and then I would put in that image. But since we are using the JPG form, PNG form now, I'm not going to do that. Anime underscore girl dot SVG dot PNG, SVG dot PNG. All right, and run. So it should start drawing the anime girl. So as you can see, I told you it would be slower. You can see the progress bar down here. Now you can start experimenting with this. I want you guys to go on the internet, download some pictures, and try sketching them using SketchPy. This is just three lines of code that we've started with. Now let's just wait for the drawing to complete. It will take some more time. As I told you, it's an external image. Now there are some more images that SketchPy offers. For example, Tom Holland, which is uh, for Spider-Man. Now those will be quicker, but uh, yeah. So it's almost done, 80%. Now over here, this is completely different. Um, if you ever want to use their inbuilt images, just use this and instead of RDJ. Uh, the documentation is really uh, helpful. So you can see there are different file types that it supports, NPY, SVG, and troubleshooting, and the creator has listed how everything works. Now this is the scale that I was talking about um, right over here. So just experiment with all of this. I think our image is complete, right? So it is complete. Now, um, I wanna show you guys a couple of more things. Now, if we go over to the internet, and let's say we type in, um, let me think of something that we want. Um, all right, let's say Virat Kohli, right? He's a cricket player. We want his image. I think this image looks great. Now, save image as and Let's say we save it as Kohli. Now, what it, it's Kohli.jpg. I want to look for an SVG file so that we can write Kohli SVG. Okay, so I'm guessing that this is an SVG file. So save image as and VK vk.png. So now these are really uh, easy images to work with because we can just use Sketch from Image. I'm trying to find an example that we can use for SVG. So let's look at this one. I don't you know, this is PNG, I'm guessing. So try this one. You want to make sure that they're in the same folder because if they're not, then you will, okay, these are all JPEGs and PNGs. So as, uh, until they're JPEGs, JPGs, or PNGs, all you have to do is just sketch from image and do that. So we'll look at, if we get an SVG file, we'll do that later. 
Um, all right, let's look at this one. IPL2.webp. Now, webp is a form of an image, and I have a bunch of IPL players over here. Let's say we want to convert this to an image that we can use because webp is not supported in SketchPy. So now what do we do? We have an image, we want to sketch it, but we can't because it's in a different form. So the simple answer is you just convert it. So webp to JPEG or any um, supported, so you can convert it to J, uh, JPEG or PNG. So select file and right over here, we move to desktop. I have it in the PWN folder, popcorn and ipl.webp. Now you just right here, click on convert. Um, your account has run out of conversion credits. So this is because I have a daily limit of 10 conversion credits have, has been exceeded, but you just want to convert it and download that file. It will download as a JPEG and then you can just do it from sketch from image. So that's pretty simple. Now, um, this is basically all you need to know when you when it comes to sketching different um, characters. Let's just look at this one. So, um, let's say you want to cricket field. All right, now we're enough with characters. Let's look at uh, cricket field drawing. Um, we don't actually have a drawing. All right, stadium. Cricket stadium drawing. Right. Um, let's look at this one. Okay, so I think this is a great image. Save image as stadium. So it is stadium.jpg, that's great because we can work with JPEG, and then let's just put in stadium.jpg. Now it should work, but if it doesn't work, then we know why, because it doesn't fit in the scale. Now it is working, but there can be an instance where it does not fit in the scale. That's because some images are larger than others. So you can see it's drawn that over here. So now the reason I'm showing you uh, not just characters, but also actual landscapes and locations, is because when you uh, build projects using a canvas, you want to make sure that you can fit your image into, because it's easier to fit a character, but when you have to fit a larger image, it can be difficult. So that's why you want to always make sure that your images are up to scale. So as you can see, it's drawn that. You can always check this right over here. Now, let's see what we've done. So um, as far as the canvas goes, that is pretty much it. You can use PyAuto GUI which is another module. So let's just look at um, our PyPy. This is the best place. Whenever you want to learn about a Python package, let's just know. Go Py Auto GUI. Let's see what this does. Py Auto GUI. So you can use this to control your mouse and keyboard. Now let's say you want to actually draw. It's simple. Use the canvas and use Pyoto GUI and you can actually control your mouse and keyboard to draw the image in real life on the canvas. Now let's just explore a couple of other packages using PyPy. Um, we can also go over here and type in turtle. Let's see what it gives us for turtle. <coughs> um, one second. Before we, get, we, before we move on with that, I want to show you how you can use Unsplash. <coughs> let's say I want to draw a Lego image, right? Let's say this one. Download. Um, one second. I think I forgot to do this properly. Um, I think we have it downloaded. Um, no, we do not. Sorry, I just wanted to show you guys something that I forgot to do earlier. Dot JPEG. Like I said, JPEG is perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the name and I'm just going to paste it right over here. Um, I want this name over here to be copied. You know what? I should have just renamed it, but I'll rename it right now. Um, PWN Popcorn. Now, the reason I'm renaming it is because we have to fit it into the brackets that we used, and it would be much easier if I just had an image like this, Lego. So now that we have a lego.jpg file, lego.jpg. Now, Let's say you want to add color to the image, right? You want to add color. Now these were all black and white images that we've been drawing, but let's say you want to add color. Sketch from image, one second. Pen dot canvas, pen equal to canvas dot sketch color from F, sketch color from underscore SVG. Now what we're gonna do here is you want to move over to Chrome 
and type in JPEG to SVG. You have to navigate with um, different files, file types. So I'm just gonna go over here and we have lego.jpg. I wanna turn this into an SVG, convert. You can use any online converter, they're pretty much safe. And lego.jpg, we're converting it to an SVG so that we can add color to the image. I'll just wait patiently. All right, it has been converted. Now, um, download. And I'm gonna download it in the same um, same folder, lego.svg. Now, if I add lego.svg, let's see what happens. Should draw the image in color. All right, we have an error here. Let's read what this is. Unknown attribute style in your SVG file. Use the below mentioned website to convert your JPG and PNG images to SVG file again. But we have done this, right? We've already converted our PNG image to a SVG file, so that should not have come. Let's just uh, troubleshoot right here. So lego.svg is the file. Okay, so we don't even actually have the file here. So you know what? Let's move over here to our file and look at a different um, go over here and when we run this it'll give us a website let's try and use that one um, right over here um, copy that and move over to here paste this and let's see where it takes us so it takes us here select file um, let's try it. You know what? Let's try this one. Let's try uh, man.jpg. I want to get man in color. Before we move on to Lego, because maybe there might be something wrong with the file. Um, that is fine. SVG. Right, so this is the exact same code that we've done. Color sketch from SVG. Now we just want to have this. Um, one second. Just figuring out how to download because I didn't expect that our SVG converter wouldn't work, but there is obviously something wrong with our SVG converter. Now, whenever you have to convert JPEG into SVG, that is all you need to do. And if you want to add color, you cannot do it in a normal image. That is one thing in SketchPy. So there is no image option here. You have to do SVG, and that is the only way it'll work. So that is pretty much how to sketch colors black and white, sketch images in colors and black and white, drawings and three liner codes. Um, visual representation. So you can use this as uh, the canvas that we've imported over here to do anything. So for example, let's say we want to import this um, from image. We have to remove color now. So you have to be uh, really conscious of what you are doing when it comes to colors because it does not allow you to add color images when, as long as they're in the PNG or JPEG form. So andrewj.png now if we run this. Right, so it has started drawing and now it will draw Andrew Tate for us. So basically my point, you can now draw images in color and in black and white. All right, um, then we've used PyPy Py to explore different um, packages right over here. I'm sorry. Um, right over here yeah so you want to browse projects browse different packages like we've done here sketchpy and canvas canvas i want to show you guys a little bit more um right i don't think it actually has canvas here because canvas comes inside sketchpy so we're not we don't have i think canvas is included in the sketchpy documentation but it's really fun to explore um pi pi i'm so sorry to explore pi pi when it comes um, to these different packages. Now obviously you can change this pen to anything. I've just used pen because it sounds suitable for drawing, but let's say we use var, right, and then I just use var here. It will still work. It will still work. It makes absolutely no difference. So you can actually um, manipulate your code to different uh, variable names. So I don't want to keep on drawing the same image. Now all you need to do is, let's just go over a refresher. 
um, create a folder inside that folder you have your Python file and you can import as many images as you want you can see I have it over a dozen images over here and import any of those images now if you want to use a color image you have to have an SVG file and other images PNG JPEG and GPG files um, we've imported SketchPy and used Python Turtle Graphics in Canvas, and we can use any variable to define this, not just pen. And the dot draw function is what causes the um, Python Turtle Graphics 